Oops. Hello, Zexamoe GX A Chaos now let's play and this is a video that I am recording in front of my computer. And it is my new project thing. Because my friend asked me when I bought this game, which is called NBA 2K13. Um, the reason this is my image is um uh, just post and I didn't have any footage to stick at the front of this because my beginning footage corrupted, so yeah. So I'm going to be doing a association mode as opposed to a um, my player. And obviously as you can see I'm adjusting the settings to start at the beginning of the season. Um, because <laughs> turning off player roles I think because I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, I'm setting up, so there I'm setting up everything. Now I decided to do this because my friend wanted me to do it and I asked him if I do association with my player and uh, he recommended that I do an association so here you can see I'm starting a new game mode and obviously you probably expect like I mean <laughs> who wants to play a bad team right so you probably expect to pick a good team which I'm sorting to to try to show you guys uh you would expect that I would pick a team like the Lakers right I mean but I'm not gonna do that or like the Heat or something or you'd pick you think that maybe I'd pick my favorite team the San Antonio Spurs from just down south of here because uh, I live in Austin uh but no uh, I actually didn't know what I wanted to do, and my friend recommended to it me, which is Chewy, 64. So he recommended that I actually do the Detroit Pistons, which is what I'm planning on doing. Because, I don't know, I guess I figured, like, it'd be more interesting to actually have to build a basketball team than it would be to start out with a great championship basketball team like uh, the Miami Heat or something, or the Lakers, or the Spurs, and be like, there's nothing to do except play, and I actually kind of wanted to make it like I have to build a team. So, I'm, here I'm setting up my association customizations. I'm turning on pre-draft workouts and the things that I don't like to do. I'm going ahead and saving my association so I can access it later. And, uh, yeah. So it's the Detroit Pistons, and I'm saving. Now, of course, my goal in this is to win a championship, but unlike most of you guys who probably want it now, obviously there's no chance of Detroit Pistons winning a championship in there for a season unless I were to play every game, which I'm not going to do because that's a waste of time. <laughs> um, so... Don't have enough time to do that and never get past the first season. So the first season is pretty much going to be more of like a, just kind of like maybe I'll show you just a couple of games and like just building until I get to the second season, which is when hopefully we'll have some talent and be able to build. So what I'm doing here is I'm evaluating uh, the roster to see who I want to keep on the team. Because, you know, there are some players on teams like Detroit that are making large contracts and, well, they're not deserving of those large contracts. So, I am cutting them to uh, make room for that. So, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm looking at contracts here, obviously, to decide who's worth cutting. And I'm probably going to cut Tayshaun Prince. I think I actually do cut Tayshaun, or not cut, but I actually trade him away. I'm looking at the player contracts again. I'm looking to see that Villanueva has a has another year on his deal, and he's going to accept that player deal. There's no way I can get him to reject that. So I'm thinking about getting rid of him. Tayshon, I don't want to pay for him because I mean he's making seven. He's got a backload contract too. And then those are the only really guys I think are getting like ridiculous contracts that aren't on like one year deals. So the first thing is Stucky. I think is making a lot of money. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the cheapo method instead of actually scouting Stucky. I'm just going into his, or I'm failing at finding his attribute list. What I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to find out what his potential is without, <coughs> excuse me, without scouting him. So I just did that and that let me figure out what his potential was and I decided I would keep him. But Tayshaun Prince and... So I'm doing is using the trade finder to help me find some. I'm trading those guys away. So I'm using the trade finder to help me find some trades because it's easier than like actually um, orchestrating my own deals. Because so obviously here you can see I'm looking for a good pick, 
And there's obviously this deal with Spencer Haas probably isn't a good one because I'm not really saving that much money. And I'm, I mean, I'm giving up a first round draft pick for an improvement of a two overall center, two higher overall center, and I already have Greg Monroe. And of course, the Bobcats, uh, well, they're, that's not a very good offer. Uh, so here I'm just sorting through the different ones. The box. The. Not going to do that one, probably. Not doing that one. Thinking about that one with Odom, but probably not. Looking at that one, but Pachulia's making too much. I'm getting off from the Hornets for him in a first, and I don't want that one either. And uh, not going to take that one. And my other is totally glitching out, so it's really annoying. But uh, anyway, I'm just looking to find guys who aren't getting paid a lot of money and are on like, shorter-term deals who may have some good potential to replace. Uh, just to get rid of Villanueva so I have some actual contract room for free agency. And hopefully Chris Paul, will maybe Dwight, but I have Monroe, will be a free agent so that I can pick him up. So I believe what I actually end up doing is taking the two second round picks from the Rockets. But I wouldn't, I'm not exactly sure because I don't quite remember. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to, I just take like the, I just keep sorting through for some reason. Because I suck apparently at sorting. And then I'm actually picking the, uh actually picking the Rockets offer of two second round picks just because I'm trying to get rid of the contract and I don't really care if I get much down because I'm really just trying to improve by getting just trying to get rid of the bad deals That's basically what I'm doing here which it's a lot easier than on Orlando because oh my god I did an Orlando one I traded away like half the team <laughs> so there you can see I'm now looking for a trade for Tayshaun Prince and I'm sorting through offers again you can see You get an offer of like Kid Gilchrist, Ilya Silva, Alonzo G, Lamar Odom. And of course, it's go I'm going back. And there's some and there's a heat and there's El Ferric Aminu, but probably not no Mo Williams and okay, uh, then I'm just sorting through these picks. I can't really keep track of what I'm doing. I'm just looking for the best one I can find. That offers me some guys on pretty short-term deals that are not... On short-term deals that won't cost me too much. Which basically limits, like, everything. So I think, actually, I probably may take the trade for... I probably take the trade for Chandler Parsons. Because it looks like it's... I mean, the Ch Chandler Parsons trade is the best one, really, that's available. Because Parsons doesn't have a big contract... And he's got good potential to develop. So I think I end up do picking the succeed here. I'm finding the Chandler Parsons trade and I'm accepting this trade. And hopefully uh, that's actually the one that I picked. Um, so yeah. The, and it's lagging out some, but that's okay. And of course I'm picking that offer because I think that's the best one available. And adjusting, having CPU adjust rotations. And we got rid of them. And that's pretty much uh, all that's really going to happen um, in this episode. Due to the fact that this is kind of just an introduction video. And the next game uh, will be in the next episode. And I'll come out with a schedule for this and my, perhaps, and my new mini project I'm thinking about doing later. Oh, and I'm also taking questions for a question and answer video. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.